I hope all of you have enjoyed watching our launch video just now, but um, just to give you a better understanding of our lighting extension for Omniverse, it would be my pleasure to give you guys a tour around using HDR Light Studio with Omniverse. So without any further ado, let's get right to it. Can we please have the demo video playing? Let's get started with getting HDR Light Studio connected with Omniverse session. We'll press play to start streaming Omniverse rendered image and we'll remove any LUTs. At this point, all of our cameras have been exported and we can choose which light, uh, which view to light. Let's light this view. Over here, we have the presets panel that contains our lighting content. In this case, interior HDRI maps. Let's double click on this one to add it to our lighting design. In the light properties panel, we can rotate it, make it brighter or dimmer. Now let's add a backdrop to our existing HDRI map. Any changes we make to our existing HDRI map can be seen on the canvas at the bottom. If we go to studio lights, we can drag and drop any light onto our render view and the light will be placed exactly where we want it. Let's solo this light to see only its effect. We can click on the render view to move the light's effect anywhere we want. And if we wanted to change the color of the light, we can very easily. In the light looks panel, we can see we only have one lighting design. Let's call this one look one. And let's create a second lighting design and call it look two. The render view will be black because our second lighting design is empty. So let's add some lights. This time let's go with an exterior HDRI map. And let's rotate it a bit. Mm -hmm. Yep, and let's make it a bit dimmer. Let's add a sunshade light to control the brightness of our sun. This light uses a low pass blend mode to control how much light can pass through it. We can use the brightness slider to set the maximum brightness of our sun. You can see before it was too bright and now it's fine. I feel like the left side, uh, the right side of the skull needs more lighting. So let's find a spotlight and let's put it on the cheekbone. Let's make it a bit brighter. Now let's blur the base HDRI map by merging it into a composite light so we can add effects like the diffusion filter, for example. This is a great way of spreading and softening the lights. At any point, you can switch between light looks to compare them. Let's edit look one and let's turn this light into an area light and use a smart dolly slider to move the area light closer and further away from the scene. Let's duplicate it and let's position it on the other side. And let's change the color. We can also at any point convert those area lights to be back on the HDRI map. Now, if we go to Omniverse, we can see that the lighting we have built in HDR Light Studio has also been built inside Omniverse simultaneously. So that's it for this demo. I hope you have enjoyed watching it. And if you have any questions uh, to do with our software, HDR Light Studio, um, in connection with Omniverse, feel free to email us at support at lightmap.co.uk. Thank you very much for having me.